VHS reviews. Hero and the Terror. With Chuck Norris. And Stephen James. His name's on the, on the top of the box, too. Stephen James, you know him. He's the, the black dude from... American Ninja, he's, he's a really cool dude, sorry, he had to pass away, so young, here's to you, Steven. Okay, Here on the Terror is, um, is a Chuck Norris movie that, that I, I, it's the first time I've ever seen it, and I remember, I remember, I remember the trailers, and, and it was on demand, and I don't know, I just never wanted to watch it. It seemed it seemed like a horror movie though. With Chuck Norris. It just kinda made it kinda weird, but if I, I got the VHS and my new quest for more VHS and I was like, I gotta watch it. I mean it's a canon movie, it's got the media logo right here. And I watched it today and it, it's it's okay. Um Excuse me, it's, it's not, definitely not one of Norris's best. Um, it, it's just okay, kind of, I mean, came out in 88, you know, after movies like, um, like Lethal Weapon and then, and then Seagal and Van Damme coming in. It seems like, you know, almost seems like, you know, Chuck Norris is on the way out for doing, you know, hard-hitting action movies. Um, this one, the the killer Simon Moon. I remember, I remember him totally different. I remember, I imagined him from what I little I did see of it before as like a hulking, hairy, like big fat brute. But it's not. It's the guy. Um, I, I know his name. Oops. Well, he's the guy that played um, Jack O'Hallahan or O'Hurlahan. He played non the the Kryptonian from Superman, the the little big one. Uh, I looked him up. He's like six six. He's uh, it's a big. He's a he is a big dude. And he was a he was a boxer before he started doing movies. So, you know, he's like a worthy opponent for for Norris. But all he does is, uh, he's just like a m monster. All he does is snap necks. There's no gore or, like, really cool killings. He just grabs, mostly he kills, he just kills all women. Well, mostly women. He just snaps their neck. And you see that maybe, like, four times. And it just got old really quick. And it's just Chuck Norris, you know, he he had apprehended him once and everyone everyone, you know, hailed his character as a hero and then um, they called the killer terror. So the terror escapes and he's back on the streets and it's up to Norris, you know, to take him down again. And it's you know, kinda of by the numbers, you know, they're looking for him. He, they can't find him. It is well made, and it has some good actors in it. And you, know, you could tell they were trying to make a different movie for Norris, which is okay. But I just prefer you know, movies like Lone Wolf McQuaid, uh, Missing Action, and two of my favorite movies from Norris are. Um, Silent Rage and Invasion USA I, it might be my favorite Norris movie. That one's pretty brutal. But yeah, it also has um, um, what's his name? Uh, and I can't remember his name. Put it in the description below. 
but he always plays a villain and here he's just like a psychiatrist he's just a normal dude not bad at all but he does good as too that was cool seeing him God, I can't, oh I can't remember his name but seeing him in here it was cool and then Steve Stephen James Steve James uh, he's cool but then you know he gets wasted by by the terror and that sucked uh, would have loved to see S Steve James in his own movies but, uh, but the only thing uh, the best thing is the final fight between the hero and the terror and that was really good because you know this dude's so big and it, it took it took a little longer for Norris to take him down I wish it would have taken longer and it would have been more brutal bloody or like all out battle for Norris's life but it, it's okay it was a, it's a pretty good just you know rock him sock him smash him in the face of the fight so finally you know that that was pretty good um, but overall it's it's just so for me at least um, just like in the middle for Norris movies and good action movies yeah I mean when this came out, movies like Cyborg had come out. I mean, Cobra had already come out in a couple of years before, but Stallone was, was still making really good movies. And, you know, for being a canon movie, you know, that's what the tape looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. For being a canon movie, it could have been a lot better. There's, there's no gore, you know, no blood. Like I said, they were trying to make a different kind of movie for Norris. And I guess, in that they did succeed. But, you know, he, he, he should have just stuck to, you know, his more like early 80s style movies. But uh, I'm glad I finally saw it. It's dependable. I mean, it's not, it's not like Norris, Norris's fault that it's... Not the greatest, but you know if you if you haven't seen it and you like Chuck Norris, you should check it out. Um, I'm glad I got it. I got it for like two bucks at a bookstore. You know I'm really getting back into VHS and uh, in doing so that made me watch Hero on the Terror. And I'm glad I finally you know saw, saw it and got out of the way. And I'll probably pass it along to one of my friends. Hero and the Terror, um, you know, it could have been better, not so bad, but, you know, that's about it, so, um, got a lot, a lot of more VHS tapes in my collection to review, and I hope more people subscribe, more people watch, and, and I got a lot of new movies, new Blu-rays, DVDs I want to review, but, you know, for everyone that does collect VHS, you know, it's really cool. And it just uh, opens up another world of movies. The movies that are still not on DVD or Blu-ray, you can only get in this format, which is, <laughs> you know, a lot of people's preferred format. But that's it for now, and I'll see you later.